Hello everybody, this is Neil here with Option Theory and welcome back. It is July 20th, 2020 and we do cherry bomb trades here. And those of you that are returning, thank you and you know that. Those of you that are new here, we are doing a portfolio recap and that's what we do on Mondays. We get our emails today from Tom Sosnoff himself, Sosnoff himself. Right, uh, and today talked a little bit about earnings. We do have a few earnings trades on in our portfolio, and so just wanted to introduce you guys, welcome you, and thank you for returning if you're coming back. And now we move into just our portfolio recap, I guess, if you would. Right, so we have seven positions on right now, and you can see them here. They're inside of, of course, Thinkorswim. We use this to simulate trading and uh, we're inside of the margin account i had done a while ago a few ira trades just they were uh, alternatives because when i do trades sometimes i present alternatives for those of you that are trading in limited accounts like ira accounts which and you have that ability to simulate ira trading as well so you can see here that we have profited in the retrades trades that we have put on uh, inside of uh, the ira account as well i didn't want to Forget about that one there. So we had, uh, I know two jade lizards that worked out great for us there. But anyway, back to where we were over here. Seven positions on, a few of them are earnings, you can see. And a few of them are, we're going back to the well to see if we can <clears throat> earn back where we've lost before. So that's that. We have um, our beta weighted turned on to the spy so we can see that our delta is beta weighted and we are of course a little bullish with this portfolio um, and that would be great if the market wasn't uh, going down and it was coming up but hey you know where is that really hurting us it's hurting us in a few of our um, positions of course and even in gold because as the uh, SPY or the uh, S&Ps go down uh, gold often will go up there you go and we have an iron condor in gold we'll take a look at this and we'll see that this is where we're in the money on the call side here so we have of course negative theta, uh, sorry positive theta we are collecting money as time goes by thank you very much and our pnl for since open i guess since this account got accidentally reset all right we are down still but that's okay uh, we are putting the law of large numbers in our favor and we're continuing to bring ourselves back. All right. So we've kind of also taken a look at the outlook for the day as part of my little uh, formula cheat sheet I have here for these videos. Um, we can see a little mixed bag here, some up, some down. Uh, I would call that basically unchanged, so really not up. Um, so the VIX is up. The S&Ps are down. Gold is up. And... Uh, yeah, so I would say it's going to look like a day where we're going to see our PNL day is going to be in the negative. That's all right. We will keep on keeping on. I want to expand this real fast to see what trades we have that might be. And this expands all of them, by the way. So I take a quick look at the day's to expiration. See, we have gold closing this week. It's defined risk, so there's not much management I'm going to do. Also defined risk. This would be in a management number of days right here also defined risk so twitter's coming off this week so same as gold all right so those are the ones we probably want to take a first look at and i'm going to collapse these again i'm going to head over to the analyze tab here and i'm going to make sure that i click on this ticker drop down arrow arrow and come over to positions and i can see all of my current positions here i'm going to tap i think i said gld that's probably the, the one we need to look at the most we can see here that we have a 64, we'll call it, percent probability of it hurting us. Okay. And our max, because it's defined risk though, we can see our max loss is $94. Should it continue to stay where it is basically or go a little further? So um, not ideal, but that's right. We have some winners and we have some losers um, and we're going to keep on keeping on. All right. So we'd love to see gold come down a little bit. That'd be nice. Thank you very much. But, uh, you know probabilistically not gonna happen all right let's take a look at our other one here twitter was the one that's going to close this week and twitter is still inside of our break evens um and it looks like if you know nasdaq may since it's unchanged may come down with the rest of the market and uh if that happens um sorry twitter it will benefit us a little right our max 
profit on this one is $89. So we're looking to, you know, manage it if it gets to anywhere in that 45, um, in the 40s. Anywhere in the 40s would probably pull it off. Um, and of course, hey, at any time you can pull it off too. If you feel like, hey, at this point, you know, I'll take my $7 and run. Uh, I got you on that one. I totally get it. All right. So with that, I guess we could look at a few of the other ones here. There's, you know, we put on Microsoft last week and it is a uh, short put vertical. We'd like to see Microsoft come up. But once again, if we're hoping Twitter to come down, I guess we're also expecting Microsoft to come with it. All right. What else would be worth looking at? IWM has been a consistent winner for us on our iron, iron condors and it's continuing to follow that pattern. So thank you. Um, IWM or the Russell for continuing to give us uh, exactly what we needed. <laughs> All right, so we've done that part. We've covered. So let's take a look at this next part or the next chapter in my um, portfolio recaps is when we go over the trades for the past seven days. So over here in the monitor tab and in the account statement tab, I have it set to seven days back from today. And we can see all of the order history. Right, and so the greens are going to be where we paid debits, and the reds are going to be where we got credits. And at that point, we'll see also opens and closes. So we closed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, nope, seven. That one was an open. So yeah, went by green. That's silly. So closed one, two, three, four, five, six. Six trades were closed. We, and we opened up two trades, Amazon, no, three trades, Amazon, FCX, and Microsoft. Three trades last week filled. Okay, so we also know that you can come down here and see your profit uh, for the year, right? Profit open if you have the current positions open or profit for the year on these. And we see that we have seven losers and the rest are winners here, of course. Some of the losers that we had were big, right? Amazon was defined risk, but we took a max loss. Um, Apple was defined risk, we took a max loss. Um, UAL was undefined risk, and we we followed the tasty trade mechanic on that one of cutting our losses uh, when it got to a certain amount of the credit received. All right, so there really is no management to cover today, so that's going to be a chapter we skip. And uh, at this point, I just say thanks. Thank you so much for coming along and watching this video. For my returning visitors, I thank you so much. Uh, some of you uh, I, whose names I know because you, when you subscribe, it lets me know that you subscribed. I've gained a few over the weekend. So thank you all for coming along and hitting that subscribe button. I hope I've earned your like and I always aim to earn your likes. Um, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you ever feel like saying hi <laughs> or you have any questions. All right, so tomorrow we start back with our cherry bomb trades and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.